welcome back to my channel. So I have been asked to do this review by so many of you guys, it's ridiculous. So many of you had said to me, have you tried this concealer? Have you tried this concealer? And I was like, no, oh my God. And as always, if you've been watching me for a long time, you would know that I'm always the last person to jump onto a bandwagon of anything. Um, so actually this year I've been a bit better. I, I, I jumped on a few bandwagons real quick, but this one I've been really, really slow with. And yeah, I thought it's about time I gave it a try and also, of course, let you guys know what I think about it. The product that I'm reviewing for you today is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. I have this in the shade medium. So you guys know that I'm like such a huge concealer junkie. I have so many. So I just had to add this one to my collection and of course test it out. First of all, I just want to talk about the actual bottle itself. When I received it, um, I was quite impressed with the size of it. You get 10 mils of product, I believe. Yeah, you get 10 mils of product, which I think is quite a decent amount. Most of them are a little bit thinner than this, but yeah, this is quite like a good size concealer bottle. So when you open this up, you'd understand why this is such a like a large bottle and that is because you get a doe foot applicator which is really quite large it's quite a big doe foot applicator i've never seen anything as big as this the applicator is actually so large that it does hold a lot of the product in there so it's quite good when you're applying your concealer you don't need to keep dipping and going back in for more i've got really much to say about the packaging or anything like that but um, i did purchase this from the tarte website itself and they shipped to the uk you can also get it from qvc uk as well but when i was looking they didn't have the Shade that I wanted in stock so that's why I got it from um, Tarte's website. I'll leave details and also the websites where you can get them from down below in the description box if you want to check that out and also like I said I've got this in the shade medium. They do actually have a really wide range of shades in this concealer and I actually really really love that about Tarte. They tend to bring out a product and then they add shades to it and generally like the base shades that they do bring out is is enough to fit most people which is good but yeah I always love how they're adding shades to whatever range it is. Moving on to the actual concealer, the actual product as it is, I have to say it is such a thick and full coverage concealer. It's definitely more full coverage than my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, um, my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, but it's not as thick in consistency uh, as the Kevin Kwan Concealer. So the Kevin Kwan Concealer is full coverage, but quite really, really thick in consistency, whereas this is full coverage, but slightly more creamy, and it's got a little bit more play to it. I also have a full review on the Kevin Kwan Concealer, which I will link for you in this video um, down below or somewhere on the screen. So check that out if you want to know more about that concealer. But back to Shape Tape, it's so full coverage that it's perfect for concealing like under the eyes if you have dark circles and you can then skip that corrector step so if you're someone that needs to correct and then conceal i feel like you wouldn't need to correct because this is such a full coverage concealer it is going to cover it i would say that you do need to work a little bit quick with this product because it's not one that stays um wet or creamy for too long it does tend to set so yeah you just kind of want to blend it in and then set it if you feel you need to i found with this concealer i didn't need to like be in a rush to set the concealer to stop it from creasing because it does dry quite matte and it sets quite matte and it doesn't like fall into the lines as quick as other concealers. I feel like, so I feel the best way to apply a concealer like this or this concealer is using a damp beauty sponge, beauty blender, whatever it is you want to use. And the reason for that is because the concealer is such a thick consistency that you want to use the sponge to like blend it out seamlessly without getting any like marks, streaky marks or anything like that. And also it's going to help to pick up any excess product so it doesn't sit cakey uh, on your face. The only slight downfall to this product is that it can be a little bit drying. So under the eyes, if you already have like really dry skin under the eyes and then you're going in with something that A is super full coverage and then tends to set really matte, it's going to just enhance that dryness and it's just going to, it's going to A, make your skin look cakey or it's going to make your skin look wrinkly when it may not even be wrinkly just because it will just pick up on all those little fine lines especially if you're going to set it as well you've got to be a little bit careful so i would suggest if you are going to use this and you have dry under eyes 
definitely use an eye cream first and then apply this and you shouldn't have a problem otherwise you can just go in with this on its own if you don't suffer from any kind of dryness around the eye area that's also another reason why i think a damp beauty blender is the best way to apply it just because it can help to add a little bit of moisture in there um but still not taking away any coverage blending it out nicely yeah i just find that that is the best way to apply this product. I don't really have much else to say on this other than the fact that I think it's such a good product. I absolutely love, 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 love this concealer. You guys know I love anything full coverage um, that's gonna cover up those dark circles like that. And this definitely does do that. And I also love the shade. It's perfect. It reminds me of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. that I like to highlight underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and all of those usual spots and this shade medium uh, really helps me to do that and it's just so quick and easy to achieve the look that I want to achieve it's it's beautiful it's really really good and I just love the application of it also just covering a large surface area and yeah it's just a great product if you do have any other questions then please do leave it down below in the comment section and I will reply just in case I've missed anything then please do feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer your questions but that is it for this review guys if there's anything else you want me to review foundations concealers anything please do leave them down below in the comment section and I will check them out make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this review like i said comment down below with anything else and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on anything else and what else oh yeah follow me on snapchat instagram twitter everything will be linked down below and i'll see you all in my next video Mwah. bye